you know why we need to go through meiosis. We need gametes. So the whole point is to produce haploid, okay, let's make that clear as well, haploid gametes. And I'm going to tell you something else. Meiosis, one cell going through meiosis results in four unique haploid gametes. As opposed to mitosis, if you remember, we ended up with two identical daughter cells as a result, or two identical. They look just like their, the parent cell that they came from. If we start out, meiosis does start with a diploid parent cell. So this would be my parent cell. And in fact, it, so I'm going to just make a note that it's a diploid cell. And if we were to look at the cell that was going through mitosis, at some point it does go through S, so it doubles its DNA, which makes complete sense during interphase. And, but it still is diploid because, remember, we don't count sister chromatids. We count centromeres. In order to get a haploid, in order to get here, to make this cell haploid, we're going to have to go through meiosis twice. So we have meiosis 1, and the end result of meiosis 1 is two haploid daughter cells. They are unique, but they're haploid. Now, you will understand this in a second. They're haploid. But their chromosomes, they actually have sister chromatids attached, which means they actually have too much DNA to truly be haploid. And we'll look at how that actually ends up happening. So each of these guys has to divide again, and that is the second meiosis. Meiosis 1 is called the reduction division because we reduce the number of chromosomes from a diploid number to a haploid number. Meiosis 2 is basically mitosis with half the chromosomes. And sister chromatids split, and you end up with four gametes because each one of these cells does its business. And I'm going to make it a fella because I like drawing sperm tails. How's that? That's your overview. We're going to look at meiosis 1 first. How awesome is that? Think back on photosynthesis where we had to talk about photosystem 2 first. We get to talk about meiosis 1 first, which is intuitive. And then we'll look at the details of mitos meiosis 2. Don't forget, you better know mitosis before we start this or else you are going to be very sad. Don't be sad. No mitosis. Be right back.